If you're like me, you might get cold in the wintertime surfing and all these camper van guys have their hot water heaters, their tankless setups, and they're able to take these hot showers after they're done surfing. So I set out to build the perfect pickup truck shower system. Here's what I got. First, you gotta have a tank to store your water. So I went with this tank from Snow Performance and it's actually a fuel tank, but it allows me to store 10 gallons and it's mounted up over the wheel well so it, it tucks away in this kind of void space that's normally not used in a truck bed. Um, the mounting is really cool. It comes with this kind of wing on the back and that mounted right in there. I had to take off my D-ring, like those uh, strap hooks there. And then um, up front, it's actually, I got a piece of aluminum I was able to bolt in and it secures the front of it. This thing's not going anywhere. The outlet for this thing is in the back and there's a uh, fitting I don't know the exact dimensions of the fitting, but it came with a uh, female threaded uh, fitting coming out of the, the tank. It was already pretty welded in there, glued on. It wasn't something that I could just, it wasn't just tightened down with like rubber washers. So that's fixed. It's something that you wanna take into consideration if you get this tank. If I had a longer truck bed, I would have mounted this backwards in the front of the truck bed um, so that my heater would be in the back near the tailgate and the tank would be up front and I would only be taking up one side, but I have a short bed. So I had to put this in the back behind the wheel well and then the outlet comes out here. And then I just routed with some 3 8 copper underneath the bed rug. Um, you could I could have drilled through the bed, but I just chose not to. Um, this is easy and it allows me to take it out uh, quickly if I ever want to. The biggest issue I had was how do I mount a tankless water heater upright in a fixed place so I don't have to set it up and tear it down every time. But how do I make sure it stays under the tonneau cover and all my hoses and everything can go in appropriately? I, I had a height issue. Um, so I came up with buying this swing away toolbox that was on Amazon and that allows me to swing the heater out when I want to use it. And then it allows me to store all the gadgets and, and hoses and everything inside here for really easy entry or easy uh, setup, easy access. With that, this swing away mount, if I take this lock off, it actually just lifts up and pops out of the, of the truck. I could probably do it in under a minute. The swing out toolbox uses a hinge that's bolted onto the uh, bed rail right here. And it, it comes with instructions of exactly how to do that. Installation for the swing out system probably took me about 15 minutes. And there's, um, there's an arm that extends underneath the carpet system here and, and two more bolts that get fastened in. That's what allows it to catch here and, and shut properly. Underneath, I needed my hoses and fittings to get tucked up under here real nice with elbows and 90 degree fittings. And so I was able to do that by finding an additional copper piece um, to make my propane line at a 90 degree angle. That was really helpful. And then I cut, I drilled holes in the side of the box to um, gain myself access into the toolbox where all the, the stuff is, is housed. I typically keep the shower hose on here or it'll continue to drip like this um, unless you install a small ball valve. I could just do a small ball valve and twist it and turn the water supply off and you wouldn't be getting this uh, this constant drip. And so I only have it like this so I can show you how to do it. One important note is in order to mount the hot water heater to this swing out box I needed to mount a piece of Unistra in here. I actually used a piece from my deck rail system, which wasn't being used underneath the tonneau cover any longer. So I actually repurposed that and bolted this piece of Unistra into the toolbox to reinforce that plastic, the plastic walls of it. So I've got like three or four bolts along the, um, along the wall here. And that makes, that makes this piece super sturdy. Also, I had to take off the screws of the cover and um, there's, there's a couple screws down underneath here as well. I had to take the screws off of this thing and then I drilled my bolts actually through 
the casing on the actual water heater. So um, on the top, there's two bolts that make it through um, spaced with some, some washers in there. And then on the bottom, let me see if I can get in there. I actually had to space um, another bolt <coughs> with some washers and, and get it through. So that's the mounting of the tankless. I actually broke a gas valve because I was trying to change this piece and um, this has not come off. Don't, don't try to take it off. Follow the instructions, use the tools that came with the system, and then you can get to the, the separate fitting here. I'll try to provide links for all this stuff in the description. I should also note that the, shout, the water heater ignites with two D batteries. That's how the water heater lights the fire and ignites the propane inside its system. As we go inside the case, lid flips up. This little removable tray is kind of cool. I mounted my 12-volt uh, pump right inside here. I've also got my quick connect for my shower hose. 12 volt pump goes inside the water supply. Water supply comes in, goes to the bottom of the pump, and then it comes out, goes to the water heater. Really easy, four screws hold the pump in, there's rubber feet, it's, it's quieter than you would expect. The propane is a one pound uh, propane cylinder from Coleman, super easy, and I have an adapter. There's, a, um, there's an adapter that takes your standard propane kit setup and allows you to use the one pound. That's a, another piece you can get on Amazon, super easy. And without cutting any hoses or doing anything spectacular, you're able to mount your propane cylinder in there. The nice thing about this toolbox is everything is kept in here. I'd like to put some foam blocks or padding in here and kind of cut things out. So. Everything is nestled in there with its own little spot, but that's a project for another time. To power the pump, I used a Milwaukee battery. You can use any 12 volt battery. You can even use your car, but I didn't want to drill into the bed, specifically because this thing swings out. It swings in and out all the time, and I didn't want my wires to have to be, you know, um, dangling or, or moving around, and, and how you have to worry about the tension. So. I went with the battery, clipped my power on uh, to the leads of the pump, super easy, and ran it in line with a little 12 volt switch um, so I can turn the thing on and off. When I'm ready to take a shower, I'm done surfing. Like I said, this is usually connected, but it's a quick connect. So I just uh, make sure it's plugged in, it's on nice and tight, and then I've got my switch right here. The water heater lights up, water starts coming out, and it's already hot. So there you have it, truck bed shower system.